Brought to you by FastFlight, your complete aircraft management software at an affordable price. And by Aspen Avionics, a new way to look at avionics. And by XMWX Satellite Weather, never fly blind again. Glenn Pugh for AvWeb.com from the 2012 Sun and Fun Fly-In Expo in Lakeland, Florida. Dick Van Grunsven is the creator of the most abundant home-built aircraft line of all time, and Paul Dye found the one aircraft that started it all. Here's Paul with more. Well, it's the RV-1, Glenn, and uh, we found it actually in a small uh, grass field on the east side of Houston about four years ago. It had been damaged in a landing accident, and uh, the owner had had it for about uh, 16 years. We realized just the significance of this airplane as the progenitor of the entire RV-1 or RV line it was Dick Van Grunsen's very first uh, airplane. Um, we set out to, to pursue the airplane with the intent of uh, either getting it back to, to Dick or, or, and or to a museum. And uh, when we were finally able to purchase the airplane, we formed a nonprofit corporation, Friends of the RV-1, to own the airplane in the interim. And then uh, we've taken donations of time and money and components from everybody in the RV community for the restoration. So the restoration has lasted a little, about a year. Um, and restoration in this, in this means uh, not returning it to factory showroom because it wasn't a factory showroom airplane. It's always been a home built, it's always been worked on. So what we wanted to do was get it safely airworthy so that we could take it on tour. Here at Sun and Fun it's, is its debut uh, for, the, for, the, uh, for the tour. It's going to be moving up the East Coast. It's going to go to Canada for a couple of weeks. It's going to move all the way across the United States to California, Northern California. It's going to spend about five weeks in the uh, Northwest area, and then it's going to fly back across to Oshkosh, where it's going to be donated to the EAA Museum at, uh, at Oshkosh this year in July at AirVenture. You know, this airplane, the RV-1, was a prototype which Van used to learn a lot about what he really wanted to do with airplanes. And when he sold this, he created the RV-3, which is, was his first kit. And when you consider that for the past several years at Oshkosh, over half of all home builds flown into Oshkosh at AirVenture were RVs. That's of all the home builds that flew in, more than half of them were RVs. This is a pretty significant airplane. This aircraft started out, um, Dick Van Grunsven in 1965 bought a Stitz Playboy. And it started out as a Stitz Playboy, but before he even flew it, he changed the engine to a 125-horse engine, and he, and he made the tail larger. He also changed the contour of the fuselage a little bit to put a bubble canopy. And he flew it that way for a while, but it still had the strut-braced wooden wings. Um, after a while, he decided he could do better, so he designed an all-aluminum cantilevered wing, which essentially became the wing for the RV-3 later on. Um, he put that on and the whole character of the airplane changed. It's a 170 mile an hour airplane when he was flying it back in the late 60s. Um, he tells me that he used to do uh, vertical eights, which is a loop on top of a loop with this airplane. It's got plenty of power. Um, today I was cruising with it at a uh, full, full throttle, about 165 miles an hour, so it's doing very close to what it did way back then. And, uh, and uh, you can really feel that the way it flies is that it's an RV. Uh, I have an RV-3, I have an RV-8, uh, we have an RV-6 in the family, and uh, this flies like an RV. It's just a wonderful aircraft. 